So I'm trying to think of a of a good mutants and masterminds Monday theme song. <laughs> oh, I need a hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. May, maybe, maybe. Um, I like maybe, that. <laughs> maybe just the Superman animated theme song. Oh well, now how did that go? There we go. Uh, mm -hmm. No, you made me sing this for you before. I'm not yes. falling for it. <laughs> I, you know, you, you try once and I got away with it, and then I never got to do it. I mean, I'm gonna keep trying. Fool me once, uh, but you have to understand. Once, yeah. Karaoke is one of my greatest fears. Is it really? Me too. <laughs> what? Here, I thought I was just weird, but if I'm nope. like Steve Kenson, it must be okay. <laughs> So I love how Steve basically has just one wing. Right. Sort of my shadow soul self, you know, hanging like, out behind me. Like right. Steve Roth. Right. It's a it's a zoomtergeist. Which is like a poltergeist, but but in Zoom. By yeah, Zoom, yeah. Zoom. See? Howdy friends, we are live. I'm presuming we're live. I'm just gonna go <laughs> for it. Um, we are live and we are hanging out. It's Mutants and Masterminds Monday. Uh, I have with me, as always, Crystal Brazier. Hello. And Steve Kinson. Hi. And then of course me, I'm your disembodied boy, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm working on some patter here, as you can tell. Uh, I'll be taking your questions uh, and comments. Today's a special uh, consideration. Uh, you know, we all were talking and we were just like, wow, we are all in just really bummed out bad news. Boy, boy, is it Monday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is but here's sure Monday after federal troops got moved into my city. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, undercover yeah. of costume. I mean... Like, it's so wild. Just hidden, just dressed up as clowns, I guess. Uh, don't mind us. We're just <laughs> clowns with guns. Um, <laughs> Sean, Sean uh, Vieira says, almost got crystals. Sing again. Nice try, Troy. Um, mm -hmm. Hey, uh, I, you know, we, yeah, we someday, uh, someday we'll do a charity event and the like $10,000 goal will be mm -hmm. crystal does karaoke. Well, like just a full thing, huh? Okay. You heard that mm -hmm. folks, $10,000 to a charity of your choice and crystal will sing you a song. <laughs> there you go. You donate 10 K to a charity and I will sing the song of your choice. Oh, I, of your choosing even that is very yeah. generous. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I know. Very generous for a for a measly ten k. I'm just saying, you never know what they're gonna have you sing. Mm -hmm. But sure. uh, anyway, so uh, so yeah, it's meeting some masterminds Monday. But today we're talking. We're doing some mental health check ins. We're seeing how everyone's doing. We're you know we're checking in on y'all heroes to see you know how are you faring. What are you doing? What are some of the tips and tricks that kind of keep you on the uh, on the side of the bed that isn't sleeping. Um, it's one of those, for me, uh, <laughs> definitely challenging. I think about a nap and I'm like, hmm, maybe I like a two or three week nap. Like, be kind of nice. Mm -hmm. I could just move six inches to the left and I'd be in my sleeping place. <laughs> See, uh, you know what I was gonna say about these two though, folks, uh, as you're watching, um, something that I thought was kind of neat is uh, as we were talking about how challenging or how sort of um uh you know we're we're definitely in big moods today uh not at any point did we not want to do the stream so it's part of our therapy you know uh to hang out and, and share and talk uh and oh. so yeah so we thank you all for that uh i mean i'm an extrovert days. so communicating with other people is what it takes for me to de-stress mm, right. which is why the lockdown has been so very challenging <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I uh, had spent some time um, on an emergency trip this weekend and uh, had met up with a friend uh, and I gave her a big hug just instinctively. But I was like, oh, oh, man, I have not given a hug for a long time. Like this is, uh, you know, and that's that's hard stuff for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I mean, that's yeah. why we have dogs, right? Yeah, <laughs> right. True. <laughs> You'll hear my little dog here. It's actually my brother's dog. Between my brother's dog and my cat, um, they all think that, well, look, uh, he's down here talking. So he must want us to come and hang out with him. Um, so you'll no doubt hear them. Um, yeah, my dog is 
in her usual place right under my desk. Cute. Um, let's see, Alex Thomas says, karaoke is one of my great joys. It fills that theater uh, mm -hmm. hole in my heart. Oh yeah, yeah, same, mm -hmm. uh, same for me. I don't know if it's enjoyable for anybody else, but I definitely have a good time. <laughs> Uh, a couple other comments here. Um, I feel terrible about the situation in Portland, but this year keeps making me glad I stayed in Canada and did not take that job in the U.S. Yeah. Yeah. Canada, I mean, keep your borders closed. Right. Watch <laughs> watch your own political developments, Canada, because yeah. you're right next door, and gosh knows a lot of shadowy money is flowing over that border. That's true. And also, you know, you got, you know, Three or three or more queeros that might want to head on up to Canada at some point in the near future. So do please start digging that little tunnel so that we can just. Whoop. Thank you, Sean. And Randall Cram says I am foggy, but that's because I had to throw sinus meds at myself for the last couple of days. Also Ooh. worried about people that I know up in Portland for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sinus meds never work. I mean, they never kind of make you sharp feeling for sure, and especially if you're just bouncing them off your head. I mean, that's just that just seems rough but not a good application of the medication uh just kidding randall uh, always good to see you um how are you two doing crystal after you okay. <laughs> um it's it's been a challenging week uh mm. mostly a challenging weekend um i mean I mean, I don't know what to say. I've got an aunt in the hospital with COVID right now. And I mean, we still have police riots going on across the country. And now, now we have secret police that only answer to Donald Trump and the, what, acting secretary of Homeland Defense, mm -hmm. which that's terrifying. Um, and I've got chronic pain that means I cannot really stand up for more than about an hour at a time so it's not mm -hmm. like I can do anything to help so yeah. I've been trying to trying to keep informed and try to convince my family to be decent human beings and and I mean try to take care of my dogs and that's about all I can do right now yeah yeah I hear that um having COVID touch so close to home is, is, a, that's a rough one, um, for sure. Um, and then layer on just sort of the day to day sort of just being, you know, just getting out of bed and the things that you have to deal with. And we generally as human beings have to deal with, but yeah, I get that. Um, Steven, yeah. where are you at? How are you doing? It's been a really Monday, Monday, you know, as far as that goes, the weekend was actually pretty decent overall. Um, but it's blisteringly hot here. Um, and, uh, and, you know, of course it only adds to the general sensation that the world is on fire. Um, yeah. and I mean, give it a week. I'm sure the world will literally be on, be fire. on fire. Right. Um, and yeah, it's just been kind of wearing, you know, I, I had a conversation with my parents recently uh, and they're, they're both in their 70s. They're both in at-risk categories. Um, and they actually live fairly close by, but I haven't seen them basically since isolation started. And, um, and they understandably, even when we got to the point of, you know, sort of expanding, seeing a few people uh, like we're going to do, we'll mask and we'll do social distancing and we'll see a few people. My parents are still out and I totally, I get it. I would totally respect that. I want them to be safe, but I would actually like to see them again someday. Right. You know, it's, you know, when, when you get to the point when, you know, my, your parents are my parents age, you know, I mean, they're in their mid to late seventies, you know, you, you think about time with your family a lot. Yeah, uh, and it's 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 frustrating and ironic that they are less than an hour away, but I can't see them. Yeah, that's incredibly um, challenging. My my mother um, works with uh, she works at a retirement community, and because of that. She's got to be very careful and yeah, be that's very, a very high risk environment. 
absolutely. And so, you know, she's on double lockdown and she happens to work in the place where my grandmother is. And, you know, my grandmother is, uh, you know, she, we're a very tight knit family um, mm -hmm. and it's challenging uh, to not be able to see them or to see them through a window. <laughs> like it's just kind of a, right. it's, it's odd. I have these moments where I forget for a minute what's happening in the world and I'll mm -hmm. just bound out the door and then I'll see like humans with masks and it's just like a, like a needle scratches across the record. Uh, hey, a couple of messages here. Um, I want to interrupt my grousing for uh, Jay Gray says, well, I'm happy to see you all. Uh, Jay lives up north of Seattle. Uh, so, uh, so Jay knows what knows the score on a real, uh, on a, on a real visceral way. Um, mm -hmm. Joe, once you joined us, um, Oh, you know, um, one of the things, too, that I, I got to tell you, my cat and this dog, of my brothers, uh, you know, I, I love them both. But, wow, they are pretty good stress relievers. I, mm -hmm. They don't, yeah, they don't know what's going on. They kind of get you out of bed. And Randall Cram says, I had a husky I raised from a puppy. Um, oh. uh, he said he, he uh, wishes he still had a dog. Uh, Sean says, old saying in Canada, when U.S. sneezes, Canada caught a cold. Um, certainly, yeah, in this case, probably even more so. Um, and, and Sean uh, says, sorry to hear about your aunt, Crystal. And, um, and Randall says, just get a CDC BioLevel 5 suit. I don't know what that looks like, but I want one. <laughs> right. I'm sure those are easily obtainable these days. Right. Sure. I'm sure there's no run on, you know any kind of personal protection equipment. <laughs> right, right. Surely not. No, not at all. Yeah, and and uh, and I'm, just, I'm certain I could just make something effective just out of the stuff around my house, right? Mm -hmm. Just sort of shower curtain, yeah. toothbrush, toothpaste. Well, I mean, if you believe most major US hospitals, apparently trash bags also, you know, serve yeah. the same function. True. They are definitely doing a lot of arts and crafts in mm -hmm. the ER to have their PPE um, all set up and good to go. Well, so yeah, there's a lot going on and a lot of challenging stuff going on. What the heck are you two doing to, what are your, <laughs> what are your tips, your tricks? Um, I mean, a good old bitch session, it, it can't beat it, cannot mm -hmm. beat it. Oh, it helps a lot. Oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Uh, especially yeah. when you can speak, you know, in, in with people who can commiserate and connect and understand what's going on for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but what do you? What else do you do? Steve, you want to tackle this first? You made me go first last time. <laughs> um, well, for me, it's it's falling back. I mean, it's falling back on my comfort things as far as that goes. Um, it's gaming, you know, um, and. I've been still gaming online with, uh, with friends, um, whether it's on Roll20 or Discord or whatnot. Um, and um, that's been nice. You know, it's, it's a social outlet. It's fun. Um, it's stress relieving. Um, otherwise, for me, uh, it's, it's, either, it's either cooking um, nice. or it's weeding. Um, and uh, I've been really getting back into um, reading more just for pleasure, for fun, for relaxation. Doing what we do sometimes reading can border on work. Yeah. And a lot of reading is research related or it's work related or it's you mm -hmm. know, something of that sort. Or editing and, or... or editing or, you know, right. But thanks for doing all that editing, by the way. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, so it has been getting, trying, trying to get back into reading more just for fun, uh, to relax. Um, I've been, um, and folks who are interested in what I've been reading, uh, can follow me on Goodreads. Um, I'm on goodreads.com slash Steve Kenson, uh, if anyone wants to look at my sh bookshelves, uh, as far as that goes. Um, just recently I got, uh, TJ Clune's new book, The Extraordinaries, uh, which is this fun uh, queer teen romance superhero novel um, about this kid. That sounds with, amazing. Yeah, it's about this kid with ADHD who writes superhero fanfic, who has a huge Aww. crush on the new superhero in, in his city. Um, 
and uh, becomes embroiled in this, this whole uh, storyline. Uh, and really, I can't say anything more than that, you know, uh, without <laughs> spoiling it. But um, TJ Klune, for folks who don't know his work, uh, is really great at romantic fiction. You will get all the feels, um, especially from like awkward teen romance. Um, you know, uh, it's just crushingly cute at times. Um, and it's just a lot of fun. And he actually does, he does a terrific job writing um, non-neurotypical characters um, and, and talking in their voices and making them very distinctive in, in a lot of ways. Um, and I just read um, sort of superhero, both sort of superhero related. Um, <laughs> Don't you was, ever take a break? I know, right? <laughs> Um, I just read um, Alex Sanchez and Julie Marrow's um, You Brought Me the Ocean, uh, which is a, a graphic, it's an Aqualad graphic novel, uh, actually, huh. and it's also a, a queer teen romance, uh, as it so happens, um, and is really uh, terrific. Uh, it's, it's part of DC's new line of, of sort of... Um, out of continuity graphic novels. Oh, their young adult line? Yeah, their young adult line. Oh, there's, um, a, there's a ton of book is amazing. Right? Um, and uh, their, their Bruce Wayne book they just did recently. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they, yeah, they're doing a whole bunch of really good stuff. Um, and so uh, it was also really a lot of fun uh, as far as it goes. So um, yeah, reading. So, and folks, you know, want to recommend me good things to read. You know, you know, basically it's queer teen superhero fiction, basically at this point. <laughs> I mean, I absolutely love it. Yeah. fair. We're gonna drop some links for sure. Um, unfortunately, uh, all the links when I go to um, Steve Kenson Goodreads are all the books that you've written. So <laughs> oh, now I've, that's now I've added the four, wrong link. Now I've added 4,000 new books I have to read. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Crystal? Uh, weirdly enough, I've also had the urge to read more lately, which, I mean, usually I do some of it, so much of it for work, I've just kind of been ignoring my reading for fun, but, uh, I don't know why, but I picked up Black God's Kiss, which is a, mm. like, it's an old pulp fantasy story from, God, like, 1936, I want to say, mm. uh, but there's a whole series that comes after it based on that initial story of a, an adventurer woman named Jarelle of Jory. And I don't know why, but reading about a bitter, scarred woman facing the impossible because the world is terrible feels weirdly comforting right now. Interesting, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> and then, uh, I mean, my old fallbacks for comfort reading are uh, The Lumberjanes, which is like mm -hmm. super queer friendly tween girl adventures at summer camp and uh, Backstagers, which is super oh, queer friendly tween boys adventures in drama club. <laughs> I've got to check out the Lumberjanes. We've talked about it on nearly every yeah, yeah. Union to Masterminds Monday. It's about time I, I uh, picked up a thing. Y you really should. And Backstagers, if you haven't read yeah. it. Backstagers I... doesn't get nearly as much credit, but it's got lots of really healthy, fun relationships between like teenage boys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fantastic. And some uh, of them are romantic and some are just friendship, but mm -hmm. yeah. So completely. you. Oh, for the ahead, drama see. kid and for those you know sort of drama kids who were basically mm -hmm. stage crew it's mm -hmm. it's very appealing yeah <laughs> then I've yeah been like tons of these model kits for like mm. gunpla and things like that which are, is hilarious because i don't know anything about gunpla or any other giant robot shows like the the first one i ever did was this adorable little teddy bear I picked up when we went on vacation to Japan because I thought it looked like fun. Thank you. It was originally blue, but I've repainted him purple for mm -hmm. just because. For reasons. For reasons. Mm -hmm. for reasons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was gonna ask about the about the model snow. Um, how long do those hey, that's cute. 
What? Oh, sorry. I'm looking at um. I, I'm I'm watching the stream a little bit later because I'm also digging for links uh, on all, <laughs> on all, time all the things that we're talking okay. about at the same time. So, <laughs> if you could see me now, I've got an iPad, my phone, my laptop, and <laughs> and then talking into a connect. So <laughs> we're doing all the things. Um, I wanted to um share real quickly a question. We lost you, Troy. Uh, for Stephen Chris. Mm -hmm. Well, have you read Tom Holtz expecting someone taller? Tom Holtz expecting someone. No, I don't no. think so. No. Can you hear me? Oh, good. Okay. Good. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were thinking or if I just blinked out. Um, <laughs> a little column A, a little column B. Mm. You know, our yeah, friend. Get the, uh, just to the oh, question. Yeah, no, I, the answer would be no, Randall. Um, no, I'm afraid uh, not. Yeah, um, but uh, but we'll dig that up here in just a minute. Um, Sean says, both my wife and I are at extremely high risk. Stopped going out when the lockdown started. My buddies from high school set up a Slack that we communicate over daily. Mm. That's nice. That's Moved nice. all my games online via Zoom, either Fantasy Grounds or Roll20. Those two things have greatly kept me going. I also signed up for a ton of online conventions, one about every two weeks. That reminds wow. me, we've got mm -hmm. our Gen Cons coming up here in uh, mm -hmm. 11 days, 10 days, 11 Wait, days. what? No. What? Two, two weeks, right? Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, we're yeah we're look we're 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 near. It's already be Gen Con season. It's only April. I know. Right. right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, I am very pleased to say that we have at this juncture 23 uh submissions from our freebooters that are going to be uh games that nice. they'll be running nice. yeah so uh live streaming and all of that kind of stuff we're going to finish up our stuff today um we, we have some panels and things going on something a lot like this um i'm imagining and mm -hmm. so a lot of good stuff happening so yeah i hear you there um i you know having done my first digital convention with um, Zombie Orpheum, our friend Zombie <laughs> Orpheum, thank you. <laughs> I did it, you guys, I did it. Um, that was a lot of fun. It was just mm -hmm. a blast. Uh, so I'm looking forward to what Gen Con brings and to see what all the folks are uh, doing. So yeah, I hear you there. We, we can relate to that, Sean. Joseph Nolan says, um, in the Army, when things get bad, uh, one thing I would encourage you all to focus and enumerate on that you can control. Sure, sure. Years later and rolling dice with, um, let's see here. Years later and rolling dice with them online, we can relieve stress by again, controlling what their PCs can do versus what the GM throws at them. <laughs> that, that is something there? to be, yeah, that is, yeah. I mean, yeah. being having a moment where you can kind of create a problem that can be solved, um, you know, um, amongst friends and, and in a, in a deep, rich story is a great way to do it. Uh, Jay Gray, of course, with the links doing great, dropping some COVID resources, uh, dropping, oh, I, Jay, I was, I, you know, I'm ready with my like cut paste finger, but I have to read what you're doing. And so now you beat me to it. <laughs> Posted your author uh, link, Steve, and then he uh, and then I was like, "Come on, get him! He's not gonna he's not gonna get the 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 uh, bio, the profile link, and boom, there it is. So everybody gets it because Jay Gray steals all my thunder. Um, he's he's helping. He's helping. Yeah, he's not stealing your thunder. He's your assistant. Jay, you already yes. have a job, right? You are the lightning to my very slow rolling thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Um, like Watch too much Pete and Pete. I can't. I can't hear that phrase without thinking of cursed bowling balls. Mm. I love Pete and Pete. Um, <laughs> I love that uh, Pete and Pete was the one that had the um, the Mister Tasty. Yep. Yeah. 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 I love that. Uh, let's see. Sean Bierre's got some recommendations. Hitler in uh, Los Angeles by Steve Ross. Interesting look at how private citizens took on mm. the germ. Oh, the German spy structure. Interesting. That's fascinating. That's interesting. Um, I bet. I bet it was K-pop stands. Yeah, <laughs> they're solving all the world's problems right now. I'm all about them. I'm standing the K-pop stands. 
uh, John, uh, oh, John says, uh, Crystal, if you enjoyed Black God's Kiss, definitely check out the CJ um, Cherry's Morgane. Oh, yeah. Cherry's Morgane? All right. Morgane, yeah. Yeah, John John Ducart says 10 days to Gen Con. <laughs> uh, what the hell? I've, How? Let's see. Right. Yeah, Alex. Alex. At least I haven't even gotten my hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. No, we have to get a hotel room for Gen Con. Um, let's see. Freebooters Unite. That's right. Freebooters are on it. Um, and then uh, Sean recommends another book, The Poisoner's Handbook by Deborah Bloom uh, or Blum. The... Oh, I already have a Poisoner's Handbook. <laughs> <laughs> this might be different, I think, but uh -huh. <laughs> maybe not so much a recipe book. Um, yeah, I have my husband's poison garden if I ever need that. <gasps> Does your husband have like a deadly garden of deadly poison? Oh, yes. yes oh. It <laughs> it's amazing how Tell easy it is to grow aconite. That. Yes, yeah. as a matter of fact, it is. That is and awesome. And, and Belladonna, and yeah, oh yeah. Well, tell us about it. Like, I mean, is it hard to keep up? Is it behind? Is it like behind wrought iron fencing? I don't. I don't take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> Presumably, ravens. Mm hmm. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's in a. We have a raised area along the side of the house that's all sort of walled off. Um, and that's that's where he grows all of his his really poisonous plants um but oh yeah yeah i had a murder garden for a long time just a bunch of different plants that ate meat and uh and then i traveled for i did this trip where i went to germany for uh an event and then i went it's just mm -hmm. the circuit right so you got to hit like packs then germany then packs again and do all this stuff by the time i got back yeah. they all dried up yeah. yeah most of those carnivorous plants need to stay pretty moist they do yeah, they indeed. Just, indeed. absolutely I just got a venus flytrap and she's not doing great i think i need to build her a little terrarium mm -hmm. yeah. yeah they really they really need kind of almost a swampy environment yeah well, she's got a nice little swampy jar she lives in, but I, I think she needs a full terrarium and mm -hmm. a little more like space to spread her roots. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, and also Don't like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, <laughs> and just more flies. I need. More. I know. I know since lockdown, my roots spread a lot further than they used to. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> True that. My roots are plump. <laughs> I Save it for your Tinder to... profile. Right, exactly. <laughs> yes, for my, all my dating apps, and uh, they will all, all my uh, swipers will be pleased to note that I am filling out my clothes in www.troisplumproots.com. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, it, it definitely was a moment where I'm just like, what is this? Why? <laughs> you know, so I'm trying to get my <laughs> pant leg on, and uh, it's just because I, yeah, my roots are company. Mm -hmm. um, so um, we've talked a lot about um, uh, reading. Now, gardening is one of my things I, mm -hmm. I love, but um, yeah, I think I, I was going to say it's it definitely falls into that category of things you can control mostly. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. I like same with me and my little like building my little model kits. I have. I can actually just focus on these little things and not freak out about the rest of the world and just yeah. worry about what my hands are doing. I will say I am not a gardener, <laughs> but I did have one afternoon where I was in a particularly bad mood and Christopher made me go out to the garden with him. He's like, you can just weed this part here mm -hmm. and not think about anything for you know an hour and I will admit it did have that effect. <laughs> yeah, I've got a little plant or a little a little patch out front where I grow like strawberries and cucumbers and they do mm -hmm. great. And all I have to do is weed them and fertilize them. And it, yep. it it's amazing how much it helps. I'm yeah. a nerd for mosses. I know this is so ridiculous, <laughs> but I ha I have a little Collect moss. Bosses. I totally it has mosses and lichens. <laughs> um, <laughs> I totally am just like, hmm, well, my, you know, my frog's hair is looking really good today. I just sort of keep them, you know, juiced up and, and mm -hmm. uh, in the right, not in the sunlight kind of way. And uh, yeah, it's a, I get really nourished about it. I've got a few bits of moss that I've had for 
like mm -hmm. three years which yeah. is just yeah uh, Troy, all the cool kids yeah. are into spores, molds, and fungi. See, I think I'm carrying mm -hmm. around a few it's of those, these too. Days. Yeah. It's true. Okay, Troy, when we visited um, Stonehenge uh, some years ago, and we actually had the opportunity to be inside the, the stone circle, um, one, of the, one of the very strict guidelines is you are not allowed to touch the stones because there are all kinds of unusual lichen <laughs> that grow on them that are being scientifically studied yeah. and and they're they're afraid that that contact with with humans will kill them off um, absolutely or yeah po pollute them with other sorts of mm -hmm. you know but they're yeah. like these lichen don't grow anywhere else around here they're oh, just yeah, they're well, that's because they're from another dimension. Exactly. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, this is the kind of stuff that like I can kind of fall into for a while and sort of get <laughs> like I, I am trying so hard not to jump out of chat and start to do some searches on Stonehenge lichens, uh, for sure. Come on, you've earned it. Jump out of chat. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Go get yourself a lichen. Some lichen data. But uh, but yeah, definitely. Um, I love the idea of like a poison garden, but I would end up poisoning myself, I think, mm -hmm. probably. I mean, that's half the goal. <laughs> right? <laughs> Accidentally and not in some great, you know, sort of Shakespearean kind of way. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so uh, talk to me, you know, so I have this, of course, doing this um, with you two is in all of our, uh, all of our, folks that are watching the heroes that are that are hanging out with us as they do um every monday um mm -hmm. we this is really super enjoyable for me but i i had this thought and i you know i i don't know maybe i, I risk a little um uh something and saying it live where everybody will hear it and then feel like they need to harass us until we make it so but couldn't you imagine crystal and steve in like a custom kind of superheroes you know kind of costumes sort of all set up uh oh crystal's face <laughs> mm -hmm. and we're not doing this troy i i'm not saying we i mean i'm just i'm, I'm like going to imagine town and thinking about mm -hmm. all of the great ways that you know they could i mean the only thing is that i, I maybe if we could have like um I don't know, some artist rendition of like, you know, maybe you take a screenshot of the chat and or the, of our of our uh, video feed and, and let's see what kind of like superhero sort of garb we might be able to come up with. I mean, that mm -hmm. seems fun to me. <laughs> I mean, I'm, so, I'm not saying people should do it, but do it. So Troy, I have a cosplay story for you. Oh, please. <laughs> the one and only time I have ever cosplayed um, was at FlameCon. Uh, a few years back, and my husband Christopher and I uh, cosplayed as Captain America and the Winter Soldier, which is, of course, mm -hmm. a great couple's costume. Yes, it is. Um, and I was Captain America. Um, <laughs> and uh, so um, we're, we're wandering around the con on our day in costume, and uh, somebody who is there from the press who is covering the event you know, is stopping a lot of people, in, you know, in costume, of course, to interview. Um, and uh, she's asking us, um, you know, uh, stuff about the con and all that. And she asks us our names. Uh, and I say, I'm Steve. And she's like, no, really. Oh. <laughs> you know, oh, the guy dressed as Captain America is Steve. <laughs> sure you are. <laughs> you know, what's your real name? I mean... <laughs> My one and only cosplay story is pretty similar in that the only time I've ever cosplayed was when my friend Trish forced me to dress as Rose Quartz from Steven Universe. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. And it's such a stereotype to make the girl named Crystal dress as a crystal gem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's true. That is, yeah. Uh, so, But I meant... Oh. My wife is reminding me that I have cosplayed a second occasion on <laughs> Halloween. Oh, Halloween doesn't what? really count as cosplay, does it? Right. Three. Oh, wait, three. What? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, God. I hope you're getting oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, now you got to tell us, Crystal. <laughs> uh, my wife and I first met because my college roommate 
made me dress up as Blossom to finish her Powerpuff Girls cosplay. Oh, not like Blossom from the television show. No, no, Blossom. <laughs> like, my, mm -hmm. she was uh, Buttercup and her best friend was Bubbles and they dressed me up as Blossom. <laughs> <laughs> Out. Uh, well, so at the very least, we're at least kind of sharing a, a kind of aesthetic for any thoughts that folks might have of sort of right. uh, future, so for sure. I, yeah, don't have any photos of that one, but for Halloween one year, I did dress up as uh, Wendy from Gravity Falls. Hi, good, that's a good one. That's very good. It, uh, so let's talk real quick. I mean, you know, we're not that far away from Halloween. Um, now, oh. understanding that it'll be kind of odd, uh, but, you know, it'll be a little bit of a different one. Uh, all the candy I will be eating um, myself. Uh, <laughs> right? Any kids that come to my door are going to get hit with a cattle prod this year. Right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like, no, go! Long. Take your germs with you. A six-foot-long cattle prod. Yes. I social, the social distancing cattle prod. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now available from Green Ronin. <laughs> <laughs> you should. <laughs> That's a good idea. I don't see you reaching for the old pen for the tome, but uh, I do like it. For Jay Gray, you are literally a treasure. Jay shares a. Tell me, uh, he didn't find pictures of me. <laughs> don't have <hedge> lichens, and <laughs> not to that, I'm certain Jay is on his way. Uh, uh, oh, here's a good one. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see. Alex says, oh, we're using our made-up names. I'm Spider-Man, <laughs> so Alex. <laughs> right. Oh. John Vieira says, um, that would be an interesting topic for a Monday. What makes a good superhero costume? What costume? Oh, I love that idea. That is a big fan. What costume you thought, oh, and what costume you thought sucked? What makes mm -hmm. a good costume great? Lots of good ground that could be covered. Yeah, I agree. And then, of course, Jay taunting me with these lichen mm -hmm. links. Thank you, sir. Um, you know, I, I kind of want to explore this just a little bit more because I, you know, I'm thinking about Halloween and mm -hmm. I don't know what, like, I would love to have sort of a, a, a superhero costume on tap. Um, mm -hmm. But, I, you know, you they require a lot of, talent and uh, some kind of skill as it relates to sewing or unless I'm just wrapping well, myself with saran that, wrap and that are a fair amount of money to throw at the problem you know because now of course you can get all kinds of superhero cost because there's there's a whole cosplay industry in terms of supplying people with costumes oh certainly you know yeah. as far as that goes you know I mean honestly my Captain America costume I bought uh, I, I have no skill at that sewing or costume design or anything of that. Sort. Yeah, me either. I, I would definitely need to work with somebody because I wouldn't want to do something original mm -hmm. uh, uh, for sure. But there are so many incredibly talented costume designers and weapons designers and some of the mm -hmm. things that they're doing is just sure. amazing. Sure. You well, know, I mean, now with the, with the explosion in superhero film and television, and um, with uh, now the trend in comics oftentimes is to, to design more superhero costumes that can be cosplayable, you know, yeah. uh, to design them with that kind of idea in mind. It's a pretty uh, remarkable shift in the industry, both in video games and uh, in other aspects of the, of, the, uh, of the kind of superhero genre or actually really any high fantasy, anything really, they really look to how can this be replicated is it easy mm -hmm. for fans to kind of wrap their heads around and, yeah. and uh chris leffler says this is good chris very good uh this year i expect everyone to be sub-zero scorpion reptile etc for mortal Kombat for the built-in map <laughs> <laughs> i was just saying that i do often feel like a uh a, a one of the mortal Kombat rejects <laughs> uh, Will says, I love you all. Mm -hmm. We love you too, Will. I'm going to dress as Will because he's super. Right. So think about costumes. Think about your, what kind of hero costume do you want? Like, what would you expect? Are you heavily armored? Are you sort of uh, 
Are you a mech? Are you um, wearing sort of a cat suit? Are you wearing sort of a, you know, there you go. I've been muted this whole time. Hi, oh, everybody. Yes. Uh, I was, just, I was, like, I was so just about to try and subtly mention that. Yeah. Everything's fine. It's the neighbor's house that's on fire, not ours. For not real, literally, I hope. No, not on fire. Not okay. But the, the, the smoke alarm is coming from the neighbor's house, not us. I got so it. It's, it's, it, it is stopped. So things seem fine. <laughs> but the dogs keep freaking out because high pitched noises. Right? right. Sure. Absolutely. <sighs> oh, so. you were going to say costume wise? Oh, I think were Steve we? was going to answer. I wasn't. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I no, totally I think you were, you were, I looked like you were going to say something before we realized that you couldn't speak. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, I mean, I was just going to say that capes are kind of a classic. And mm -hmm. I, I like the ones that yeah. attach to like kind of a scarf. Yes. <gasps> yeah. One Halloween yeah. I was uh, a, I was a demon and uh, I had on um, what about, uh, I want to say six inch black platform uh, shoes and <laughs> I already six five and uh, and then I had wings and they were, nice. they were so, it was so great. It was just a lot of fun. A friend helped me make the pants and I was kind of like, like, I had sort of uh, sort of a uh, I don't know you'd say like a uh, someone some might call it a harness um, <laughs> that I was wearing as sort of the some armor. might call it that some might <laughs> some know exactly what I'm talking about and um, and I had big horns I wanted to kind of uh, uh, sort of pull from um, oh what was that Tom Cruise movie with the uh, Tim Curry as legend. The Legend, yeah. Mm -hmm. So big horns, kind of like that, but they, they didn't quite come out that big. But uh, I had so much fun. The only problem with my wings is that I would slap everybody in the face. Like, just oh, as I'm walking mm -hmm. around Capitol Hill, just literally. And then it kind no of got to Troy, I hate costumes like that. I mean, yeah. Yes, exactly. It's like the Gen Con backpack experience all over. Oh, yes. That I, I will not miss. No, yeah, true. That's fair. What it up did. with that, Gen Con? Like, <laughs> Just take your backpack off when you're bending over to look at a thing in the middle of the room. Mm -hmm. Randall Cram says, I designed a super once. Had the sticks of, the, oh yeah, the cape always dramatically flowing in the breeze and always sparkling clean <laughs> even after walking through the swamp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta say, Edna Mode aside, capes are awesome. Yeah. I love and it. I I mean, Troy's story reminded me of the Halloween where a bunch of my friends and I dressed as the seven deadly sins and I was wrath. And <laughs> I put together a really nice chain mail bikini for it. Nice. <laughs> nice. And, and again, platform boots and mm -hmm. like very severe makeup and some theatrical scar makeup because I was a drama geek. <laughs> mm -hmm. see, I'm starting to see the appeal of these pulp novels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but I don't think there's photos of that. I did find the photo of me as Wendy, but oh, cool. I was going to share it, but there's no way for me to post videos to, uh, or not videos, photos to uh, the Facebook chat. So y'all miss mm. out. Though. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could. Now, do you have a photo that you can pull up? Because you can show it on screen and just share your screen. Oh, uh, I mean, I can. I don't think anybody wants to see it. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Let's see. Sean ah. says I love a good cape. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Right. Uh, when, wait, you went as the, the shadow. The shadow? What, okay, so I went as the shadow. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure From Legend? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, it looks like Sean, yeah, would tell me which, uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Will says I dress as Rorschach for one Halloween. I regret it a bit. Mm, that's fair. <laughs> Is it because of the character choice? Fair. Yeah. Fair. I mean, reading... Well Reading Watchmen as an adult is very different. Yes. Oh, it yes, it is. Changes things a little bit for you, doesn't it? Yeah, it definitely does. Uh, I have no idea how to share my screen. <laughs> um, you, so if you look down at the bottom of your Zoom window, you'll see a little uh, green share screen. Oh, well, I mean, sure. If you're going to use a green 
There. <laughs> big green arrow. A big yeah. green I button. I did sort of make it a little. There yeah. we go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I love it. So yeah, that that is my beautiful wife in this amazing Mabel sweater she made herself. <laughs> And, and it lit up just like in the intro for the show. And, and awesome. my slacker ass just there in a cheap party wig and, and a store-bought furry cap and, and plaid shirt. Oh, it's my turn for the neighbors to go nuts. I'm gonna mute myself for just a second and I'll be right back. <laughs> there we go. That's enough of that. Yes. Now, I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have shared it if I hadn't gotten to show off my amazing wife. I just realized, oh yeah, wait a minute, we're not supposed to root for Rorschach? No, you're not, Alex. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty terrible. Not a, not a role model, really. No. Not, not at all. All right, I'll, I will call be, an unreliable narrator. I will be right back, but do continue sort of. I, what I want to know is, design your superhero costume for like, <laughs> all of us. <laughs> Uh, I've got one I've already illustrated, and it's mostly just based oh, on rogues. <laughs> it's based on rogues, like turn of the millennium oh, costume, so where good. she was wearing like a like a short dress and the cape mm -hmm. that was actually like circular and yeah, yeah, her yeah. like early Avengers like costume, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Back when it was, was like the X event or the Uncanny Avengers. Uncanny Avengers. It right. was a really cool costume design. Actually. Yeah, I loved it. I really latched onto it. <laughs> I could see that. I mean, I, there's elements of that in the Lady Liberty costume design. I was just going to say, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's very so, cool, yeah. What about you, Steve? What is your costume going to look like? what would my costume design be? It would probably have to involve a cape. Um, yeah. Because mm -hmm. when I was a kid, it was all about the capes. Right. You know, I mean, it was all about... It's going like, to be like a Batman-style wraparound cloak or like a Superman hanging off the back or mm, like Captain go... Marvel, like off the shoulder... I did always like Captain Marvel's cape design, you know, as far it's, as that went. Yeah, it's classy and unique. It really is. It is, you know. Um, one of the only things I, I like about the modern incarnation of Shazam is they <laughs> added a hood to his cape. That is nice. Yeah. Kind of cool. Um, but it's I'm still going to keep- They love the hoodies. Right? I'm going to keep calling him Captain Marvel, though, for... Oh, for right, future. yeah, because he's not Captain Marvel he's anymore. Not, no, he's not, which is sad. Yeah. Because now he's, like, the only superhero in the world who can't say his own name, you know. I mean, oh. there's got to be at least one more. You know, well, you know, all the other members of the Shazam family. Presumably. Okay, well, yeah. You know, uh, but same, you know, same problem. I mean, oh, Mr. Mixtius Pitlick. Yep, that's true. That's true. He's a villain. Sure, I can't say his name, but <laughs> Super, Superman's impish foe, Mixius Pitlick. I don't know who that is, but was he also <laughs> on Fred Flintstone? Uh, no, that's of. the Great Kazoo. That's, that's the Great Kazoo. Yeah. I thought there was like a mix. They, of they were neighbors. Yes, I'm sure that they in the fifth dimension lived somewhere <laughs> <they> adjacent <laughs> to each other. I love it. Yeah, capes for sure. Um, I, I tend to like to kind of be a little augmented in the like just sort of look sort of change the the way that my normal body looks so that I can do like I don't know like a tail or mm -hmm. you know everybody uh, wants a tail you're not you're not weird no you're right not, you're not special yeah you're not special <laughs> Troy we all want tails <laughs> right and now I do want to take a quick flash poll Folks who are watching, um, how many of you uh, wish you had a, a prehensile tail? Um, there we go. Okay, okay. Here's this is completely off the uh, off the uh, reserve. No, I uh, just realizing that is actually That's a, a terrible, terrible phrase. Expression. Oh right. my god! And, uh, it, but uh, you're watching uh, like anyway. This time? is completely off topic. If yes, you were yeah. mutated with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ooze, what would you be mutated into? Ooh. There we go. We're talking about tails. So we're talking like what animal hybrid? Yeah, like what animal in the new and in the new comics, like some of them get some people get like mutated with with vehicles or or machines, things like that. The new like mm. 2012 series on Nickelodeon had uh, like a car got splashed with mutagen and turned into this like rat fink over the top <laughs> racing car. Hmm. I love okay. that because it's like a techno organic thing from another dimension. Sure. <laughs> Right. It's always been magic. Right. 
basically. Oh, gosh. And like Rocksteady is permanently fused to his brass knuckles. Bebop is like fused to this like dancing rig he's got. It's hard to explain. <laughs> you had to be there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, to be here. I, I'm a little stunned I because I think that Joseph Nolan is saying that yes to tails, but that it needs pockets. A tail and needs pockets. Tail with pockets. A tail with pockets. I can see it. Okay. Sort of. Right. That's sort of. Uh, gives me I mean, a I mean, if I had a possum tail, then mm -hmm. I'd I'd also have a pocket. So yeah, I'm just gonna say possum. Right there, you go. Okay. How about you? I Steve? spend a lot of time eating garbage. <laughs> mm. You know, I am most at the moment for some reason drawn to the whole notion with squirrel girl. So I'm gonna have to say it's probably gonna be a squirrel or a chipmunk. Uh, yeah. Oh, you would make an adorable of, little chipmunk. Right? I think so I, I would be I, like I a, think ninja chipmunks have potential. I yeah. do too. I do too. I, I would think raccoon for me. Um you do have dark like, circles under your eyes. <laughs> I do, right? right? And also I eat like a um, a toddler uh, raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> or a seagull. I suppose that's another one too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Always stealing yeah. children's French fries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, after yeah, okay. Andrew, uh, Sorry, Randall. I didn't mean to steal yours. Randall says a right. raccoon or a hare. Uh, yep. This Ray French fry and... theft is clearly Troy the seagull. <laughs> You. <laughs> and you know what I'd say? Caca! Or well, I don't know, whatever they, <laughs> That caca works. Okay, right. yeah, that's, yeah, so that's just me. Maybe me tookie tookie. Old, <laughs> give me the old pin feather, tail feather, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, All right, okay. now we need fan art. <laughs> uh, we do, right. we definitely do. Um, and if that doesn't evoke some fan art, um, I, we are, yeah. This We're just not right. trying hard. I noticed my fi follower count went up a ton once I started using. Uh, I did an illustration of myself as an Animal Crossing villager using nice. suggestions oh, from fast. my followers, and so now that I've got a little anthropomorphic drawing as my mascot on Twitter, I've gone up by like two thousand followers. For those wow. of you that follow Crystal, you know that <laughs> Crystal has uh, has a a point of view and a fearlessness uh, in sharing sort of views around social justice and sort of the state of things. And it's a refreshing read for me, but I'm reading sort of this uh, particularly poignant uh, series of tweets. And at the end, <laughs> at the end you said, and I'm just realizing now that maybe not having my, an animated, what was it? It's not an anteater, it's a what? It's a, no, it's, it it's an anteater. It is <laughs> a, you, yeah, you said like a cartoon anteater might not have been that close. And I was right. like, uh, couldn't have been better. <laughs> it literally had some 2020 energy right there. Yep. Yeah. Loved it. Absolutely. Oh, someone says there, uh, Chris Leffler says, uh, actually working on an anthropomorphic MN character now, a panda patterned Ooh. mammoth. Oh, a panda patterned mammoth for the trunk and growth. Nice. Okay. It's like an extra limb and presumably some extra super strength in there. <gasps> sure. I like it. Hey, what's that uh, anteater-like animal that's sort of kind of colored like a like a panda kind of? But it's got a is it a it's got a long nose. It, but oh, it's the tapir. Tapir. That's it. Yes. Yes. That's it. That's what I'll be. I want to be a, a, a me and then a tapir. Um, <laughs> they're not particularly a nice. Right. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I uh, Jay Gray, thanks again for the links. Um, oh, I'm realizing yeah. physically I'm in contact with corgis the most, so I'll probably mm -hmm. end up like the tallest corgi in the world. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Or, or dog from Master City. Yeah, or like two <laughs> two corgis in a trench coat. <laughs> no, get... they've already tried that one. <laughs> oh. They will do anything to buy more kibble. Not this time, Corgis. Um, all right, well, we are nearing the end, and I gotta say, it was nice to just kind of hang out and chat and talk a bit about, just to take a minute to acknowledge that things are <laughs> tough and weird and, and uh, but easier to persevere when you've got uh, friends to kind of talk to and hang out with. Mm -hmm. um, oh, gosh, yeah. yes. 
just that means a great deal to me. Um, I am uh, taking a look at something because I want to do uh, one of these again. And if I can get there, um, one of the, uh, let's see, I think it was Ronan Troy. Where is that J with my Pinterest link when I need him? Um, all right. So here's the thing. I will show you um, a, uh, an image. It is, uh, this is our favorite game that I just made up last time called uh, Superhero mm -hmm. Noise Fight. And oh, so, we did this when we had guests, right? <laughs> yeah, but I really like the way that you two do the. Your answers are are very satisfactory, and so <laughs> I am going. Satisfactory. <laughs> I meant to say satisfying, and it came out satisfactory. <laughs> well, either that way, is... we can satisfy Troy. <laughs> right, mm -hmm. exactly. But uh, <laughs> like, crack me up. Like, very satisfactory is very different than very satisfying for sure. It's a <laughs> solid C work. Right or. Yeah, yes, exactly. No, no, no. We'll do this uh, pass are, fail. That's fine. Yeah. You are A plus all the way. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to share it. Now, here's the idea. This is the sound the superhero or villain makes mm -hmm. when they do the thing that they do. So you get to determine what it is. Okay, let's see. As I get there. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. We gotta start statting these up or something. Poke, poke, <laughs> poke, poke. poke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, honestly, this sounds like the attack of the little brother. Right? I was just <laughs> gonna say this this sounds like the you know the character who's just like, hey, hey. I'm not touching hey. you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm thinking it's like a cosmic imp, like Mr. Right. Moocious Pitlick, but mm -hmm. more like Batmite in that, like, he's your biggest fan and he wants to follow mm -hmm. you around, but he also mostly just wants to annoy you. Right. Desperate for attention. Yes. Probably, you know, we could just call him Poke, you know, poke. really, you know. Or, or, poke, poke, poke. oh God, what did I used to call my brother? Like Monster? <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> just like, hey, 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 pay attention to me. I think I called trick. my little shit, and that was just last night. <laughs> How about uh, trick? I like that for a. Uh, mm, that's good. Like an annoying little brother imp. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. I like it. Uh, we've got some suggestions from uh, from the chat. Uh, Randall Cram says the Almighty Hedgehog. Okay, I see. I yeah, see. all right, sure. A uh, Birch Mid with a uh, shabby McStab face. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. What about Sledgehog? Sledgehog. Sledgehog. I That's like excellent. it. I'm good with like portmanteaus. Uh, Bert, uh, Bert says, um, I, oops, I meant stabby. Stabby makes stab face. So um, <laughs> it's, uh, see, you know, maybe in the future we should uh, kind of open with these because they are certainly um, uh, fun <laughs> and creative, but, uh, but you two uh, are a blast. And <laughs> True joy to hang out with every single Monday. Uh, we really should start joy. statting these up at some point. Right. I will. Uh, I've yeah. got oh. about. I made about five more, so I'm gonna. Sh I'll share them, and then we can kind of. Well, let's uh, let's figure out what to kind of do with them, um, folks mm -hmm. uh, in the chat. You two, uh, uh, all of you, um, you two are valued uh, oh. and appreciated for these mutants and masterminds Mondays. We wouldn't uh, do these without tons of amazing people tuning in. So absolutely. I'm glad we can take everybody's mind off of the rest of the world for an hour a week. Absolutely. And then, you know, taking a hand in our own, kind of taking control of our own sort of how are we going to get, uh, how are we going to power through the day and, you know, getting ready and doing these things and having conversations with y'all is, uh, is truly the, the highlight of my week. And it's only Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, ten thousand dollar donation, and I will sing the song of your choice. Yes, right. absolutely. It's and also favorite. remember, for free, you can design superhero costumes for Crystal and for Steve. <laughs> no guarantee we'll wear them. Right. Maybe digitally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't actually stop you from photoshopping us into things, but <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, friends. Uh, I think we are done. I I do want to say next week we are going to try. <laughs> For a multicast, we are going to stream yes. to Twitch, we're going to stream to YouTube, and we're mm -hmm. going to stream uh, to the, the Book of Faces. 
Mm-hmm. And I have selected some music um, that I think might be kind of a nice intro. So uh, stay nice. tuned. We're getting bigger and better. Yep. And I think I think next week we agreed our topic was going to be how to make a hero for mutants and masterminds. Heck, so, yeah. Back yeah, to the friends. basics. Absolutely. Uh, and we'll, we'll invite a good friend to come hang out with us too, who's done a little bit of that. And then we'll move through kind of the, yeah, the process of putting this stuff together. I mean, I know mm-hmm. we're all charming and stuff, but there's a purpose here. Uh, <laughs> kind of. I mean, in theory, yeah. we're here to help make your mutants and masterminds game better. Right. Right. And your Mondays. Um, yes. And your lives oh. in general. Um, and just yes. as a reminder, we do have, it, it was delayed a few days, but we do have the next volume of Nether War coming out later this week. Yes. So keep Ooh. your eyes peeled for Bound by Gold. Yeah, we've had a lot of folks who have turned in their Gen Con um, freebooter uh, games that they are running uh, right up to the wire. Uh, you <laughs> should see little freebooters, uh, but I would expect nothing less. Um, and uh, <laughs> Was the deadlines, been- nothing would get done. Yeah, right? absolutely. Right. And what's a deadline if you can't Man, meet it? Like, I hope at least know, one right? person's running Reign of Cats and Dogs. <laughs> we are running two. two <gasps> one person is running two Reign of Cats and Dogs. <laughs> they are very excited about it. Um, I will uh, I will make sure that we share that information uh, with, uh, with Will, the uh, social media um, maven, and we will get that information out to everybody. We've got, again, 23... Uh, games uh, that will be running, including streams and some other fun stuff as well. And then that doesn't even count the Green Ronin stuff that we're going to be doing. So it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, anything else you'd like to share, friends? Uh, well, this, that's pretty much it. this is your weekly reminder that real heroes wear masks not to protect themselves, but to protect, but protect the ones they others. love. Yes. I love it. We are, we, we're almost in unison. So close. Um, <laughs> thank you both. Um, have a wonderful Monday and we shall see you why next Monday. Bye. Mm-hmm. Bye Take care bye. of yourselves. Take care.